launch an Atmanirbhar clean plant program to boost availability of disease-free quality planting material for high-value horticultural crops at an outlay of 2,200 crores. Global hub for millets, millets which are Sri Anna. India has the forefront. India is at the forefront of popularizing millets, whose consumption further nutri furthers nutrition, food security, and welfare of farmers, said the Honorable Prime Minister. We are the largest producer and second largest exporter of Sri Anna in the world. We grow several types of Sri Anna, <laughs> such as Sri Anna Jowar, Sri Anna Ragi, Sri Anna Bajra, Sri Anna Kutu, Ramdana, Kangani, Kutni, Kutki, Kodo, China, and Sama. These have a number of health benefits and have been an integral part of our food for centuries. I acknowledge with pride the huge service done by small farmers in contributing to the health of fellow citizens by growing these Sri Anna. Now to make India a global hub for Sri Anna, the Indian Institute of Millet Research, ideally Indian Institute of the Sri Anna Research, Hyderabad will be supported as the center of excellence for sharing best practices research and technologies at the international level. The agricultural credit target will be increased to 20 lakh crores with focus on animal husbandry, dairy and fisheries. We will launch a new sub-scheme for of PM Matsya Sampada Yojana, which is an existing scheme, but we launch a new sub-scheme with targeted investment of 6,000 crores to further enable activities of fishermen, fish vendors, and micro and small entrepreneurs, improve value chain efficiencies, and expand the market. For farmers, especially small and marginal farmers, and other marginalized sections, the government is promoting cooperative-based economic development model. A new Ministry of Cooperation was formed with a mandate to realize the vision of Sahekar Se Samriddhi. To realize this vision, the government has already initiated comp computerization of 63,000 primary agricultural credit societies with an investment of 2,560 crores, 2,516 crores. In consultation with all the stakeholders and the states, model bylaws for PACS were formulated, enabling them to become multi-purpose PACS. A national cooperative database is being prepared for countrywide mapping of cooperative societies. With this backdrop, we will implement a plan to set up massive decentralized storage capacity. This will help farmers store their produce and realize remunerative prices through sale at appropriate times. The government will also facilitate setting up of a large number of multipurpose cooperative societies primary fishery societies and dairy cooperative societies in uncovered panchayat and villages in the next five years.